Here's a poem by John McManaman called The Radio Ulster Christmas Party. A cellar has been dunged out underneath the BBC. The glittering stars arrive in cars. They know the drink is free. It only happens once a year when all are hale and hearty. The annual feeding frenzy, the Radio Ulster Christmas Party. The party's already started. And now I'll tell to you just what the stars get up to when hid from the public view. There's George Jones in a corner talking to a Christmas tree. Oh, yes, I was big in the show band scene back in 1973. And look. It's Jackie Fullerton looking for a chair. He sees a mirror, stops immediately, begins to comb his hair. Hugo shouting madly, Merry Christmas, everyone! Is there any way to shut him up, of course, a wee cream bun? Up at the bar stands Jerry. He just can't drink enough. The enigmatic dairy man made a star of Geordie Tuff. John Bennett's out there dancing, the big man's full of booze. But why is it each trouser leg is six inches from his shoes? Hugo starts to sing now in a voice that's far from sweet. And all the dogs start howling up above there in the street. Mr Coyle is on the floor, showing off his golfing swing. He trips, then says to Hugo, did you have to sing? Jerry starts to tell a joke. They've heard it all before. Mr Coyle is on his back, lying on the floor. Mr Coyle swings his club again and shouts out loudly, Four! Hugo starts to sing again. He thought he'd said, Encore. Big David Dunseeth is there as well. And boy, is he not tight. If anyone should dare talk back, there's sure to be a fight. George Jones is going at his knees. A drink falls from his hand. I used to be a star, says he. I played in a... <laughs> so bad. I think George Jones has had enough. God's sake, the man can't stand. Then his legs begin to quiver, just like a rubber man. The barman refuses Hugo. He said he's had his fill. Ah, just one more, says Hugo. Ah, you will, you will, you will. George Jones is sinking slowly. He's nearly on the floor. I used to be a show band star. The people hear him roar. Jerry's drinking vodka. Mr. Coyle is drinking rum. Hugo's drinking nothing. George Jones is on his bum. Jackie Fullerton is immaculate. In a natty suit of grey, George Jones now is on his knees. Is he going to pray? Hugo cries, It's for karaoke. Boys, karaoke's good. Not for me, said Mr Coyle. I can't eat foreign food. The party's going mad now. It could go on until tomorrow. It's like a Roman orgy, or like Sodom and Gomorrah. Now a fight has started beneath the Christmas tree. Big Davy Dunseeth knocks Hugo down. But he's up at the count of three. We Hugo goes for Davy... And at his leg is biting, says George. Remember old James Young, for God's sake, stop fighting. Hugo and David now shake hands and stagger to the bar. Jerry says, see, Geordie Tough? I made that man a star. I took him from the country and made him do my bidding. If it wasn't for me, said Jerry, he'd still be dunging out his midden. Mr Coyle is feeling giddy and looking for some fun. He creeps up on Jerry and then roars out, there's a man for you on one. John Bennett is still dancing. He's jiving now, quite fast, with shirt tails out, he whirls about, and his trousers are at half-mast. Now George Jones has rallied. He's at the bar again. What do you want, the barman says, says George. Can I phone a friend? George Jones starts to sing a song, then starts to yodel too. Big Davy grabs him by the throat until his face turns blue. Uncle Hugo's had enough and sinks down on his knees. The wee man's got more gold on him than you'll see in Tiffany's. Your Uncle Hugo loves you, yells the wee man from Mr. Ban, then shows them all a letter that was posted to him from a fan. Jackie Fullerton's not too happy and says he's going home. Jerry asks, what's the matter? Says Jack, I've lost my comb. I've got it, Jack, says George Jones in a voice all slurred and thick. I'm drinking Harvey all by news. I need a cocktail. Well, give it back, says Jackie. Now, George, that isn't fair. Here you are, says George. Thanks, says Jack. Then begins to comb his hair. You can take my wife, says Jackie. You can also take my home. But, George, there's one thing you can't do. You can't touch my comb. George Jones has lost his glasses. Now he's blind as a bat. Starts out a conversation with a snowman in a hat. Now the fight is on again. The wee man's on the floor. I'll throttle you, Uncle Hugo. Big Davy, he does roar. Now someone has called the police to take them all away. And all the glittering stars are dragged out into the light of day. As George Jones is led away, he shouts, This is not fair! And Jackie, with an American drawl, says, Hey, man, don't toss my hair. Ronnie Flanagan says to Mr Coyle, as he struggles to get free, Are you the boy from Derry that takes a hand at me? The Black Mariah pulls away, and a sad voice cries out low, I used to be a show band star a long, long time ago. This is a poor example for the little kids at play. Do these people think they have a license to act like 
and MLA. But tomorrow, all the glittering stars will pay sore for their fun. So on behalf of them, I'd like to say, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>